It's the second day since Loder and Ephra were captured and brought to the Goblin tribe. The sun is high in the sky, and the Goblin guards are changing shifts. A Goblin exits the tent, looking satisfied after torturing Ephra. Another Goblin watches him with worry, reminding him that the Chieftain has ordered Ephra not to be killed. The Happy Goblin replies that she's still very much alive. Ephra's clothes are now in tatters, she is no longer screaming as she was when first tortured, but her silence is even more terrifying. Loder is forced to witness everything, he looks at Ephra with worry, urging her to stay strong and not give up, assuring her they'll be rescued soon, Ephra just whispers that she understands. But Loder is quickly beaten by another goblin for talking when he shouldn't, and another goblin approaches to torture Ephra. Inside the tent, the elf queen and Kasana are tending to the children and witnessing everything, seeing Ephra being tortured, the elf queen concludes that Lamthine has a vendetta against humans. Kasana feels scared and thinks they are worse off than the two humans, at least they have fruit to eat, it seems like both the elf queen and Kasana are pregnant with Lamthine's children. Gobu arrives at that moment, she confirms that Lamthine does have a vendetta against humans, and these two are the ones who are responsible. The elf queen, seemingly having changed her mind about Lamthine, claims he is the most unique goblin she's ever seen, a goblin driven by revenge, capable of anything. Even while he'd tortured her with his weapon, she felt a peculiar fondness for him, the elf queen has shattered the image of the noble elf in my eyes. Kasana, standing beside her, seems to feel her mother is happy about being tortured by Lamthine. Back to Lamthine, a goblin rushes in to inform him that the second generation goblins have returned, this surprises Lamthine. The second generation goblins return with their loot various monsters, and are greeted with enthusiastic cheers by the other goblins, after all, besides reproduction, their main interest is meat. Upon seeing Lamthine, the goblin immediately greets him, he's a large goblin, level 33, with the profession of warrior, he has the title son of elf, blessed by the lord, and monster hunter, with 470 HP, 142 strength, 168 defense, and numerous skills, his overall power reaches 500. Lamthine is pleased with the second generation goblins, they have evolved into large goblins after surpassing level 30, and their strength is catching up to Lamthine's. Lamthine asks why they returned so early and if the hunt was successful. The goblin reports that they had hunted all the nearby monsters and had to venture further west into the forest, but they encountered a giant goblin tribe that was slaughtering smaller goblin tribes. This surprises Lamthine, it's the first time he's heard of the giant goblin race, he only knew of the demi-humans as the creatures closest to goblins in size. Another goblin informs Lamthine about this tribe, they are the Bloodtooth tribe, they are all giant goblins, in a previous hunt, he had discovered a tribe being attacked by these giant goblins, and the scene was terrifying. Thinking about these large goblins, Lamthine doesn't feel worried, but excited, if he could capture their chieftain and create a third generation of goblins, they would have enough power to resist the human invasion. Loder, hearing Lamthine's words, laughs mockingly, he tells Lamthine to keep dreaming his death is approaching, he says even if goblins become strong, knights will defeat them. Lamthine stares at Loder with a terrifying glare, he thanks him for the reminder, saying he had forgotten Loder was there. As a reward, Lamthine allows the other goblins to play with Loder, instructing them not to kill him, the goblins pounce on Loder with a ravenous appetite, it seems they find humans strangely alluring, even men. While the goblins enjoy themselves, Loder screams in desperation, he curses the goblins and threatens them, saying humans will come and destroy their wretched tribe. Ephra remains silent, her head down, as she watches everything unfold, perhaps she has learned to stay quiet. Hours later, Loder lies unconscious on the ground, his face reveals the pain he has endured. Meanwhile, the goblin tribe is having a feast with alcohol and meat, it seems everyone is happy, except for Loder and Ephra. Gobu asks Lamthine about his plans to attack the Bloodtooth tribe, Lamthine confirms it, he says they want to survive, so they need to be the strongest, he wants to not only attack the tribe but also capture their chieftain. Lamthine has decided on a name for his tribe, from now on, they will be called the Tribe of Frenzy. The name seems to fit the goblin's character, they roar with joy at having a formal name. Gobu feels apprehensive about Lamthine's decision, she warns him that the Bloodtooth goblins are very strong and have destroyed many other tribes, it will be very difficult to attack them and capture their chieftain. Lamthine tells Gobu not to worry, saying he knows their current strength very well. 
Lamp Thien looks at Ephra, as if he has an idea about using her in the war. Before the battle begins, Lamp Thien visits the Bloodtooth tribe to gather information. He chooses a suitable location to observe the entire area and is curious about the strength of these giant goblins. The Bloodtooth tribe has houses with modern architecture, showing that these goblins are intelligent. Inside, many giant goblins are eating and drinking, but Lamp Thien thinks he can easily defeat them. Lamp Thien notices the fear in the eyes of the goblins inside the house, they are scared when they see their chieftain. It's a giant goblin, much larger than the others, the goblin is level 50, with the profession of high-level warrior, he has the titles monster hunter, goblin hero, breeding machine, with 700 HP, 239 strength, 14 defense, he's equipped with a bone hammer, and his overall power reaches 900. Lamp Thien is thrilled to see such a strong goblin and already has a plan for him in the future. Welcome everyone to my channel. Here you will see a lot of interesting video retellings. I like to make videos for you and I am very happy that you like them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel also click on the bell to not miss anything.